All right, I've got some goodies. So I have here a solar cell. Um, so I got ten of these. The Vico cell. Um, it's not what was in the listing on AliExpress, but uh, it seems to do the thing. Um, so it's got these two parallel white, big thick white traces there and then lots of vertical traces and then on the back I'm paranoid about touching these on the back there are two parallel uh, traces and they despite appearances they are conductive I don't know what this stuff is like some sort of silicon dioxide plated something rather I have no idea um, but yeah much to my surprise I put a multimeter across it and just under this LED simulated fluoride thing that light uh, I was getting uh, 0.25 volts and it's a 0.5 volt cell um, so my goal is to chop this up uh, maybe chop it across there just lightly score it with my diamond wheel and then chop up six sections and solder them together in series um, I got ten of them um, and these that the pack of 10 was like 15 bucks shipped from China so um, not hugely worried about um, wrecking them they came in good nick with no broken bits but there is some sort of weird uh, like burn or pressure mark or something uh, in on two of the sides of all the cells that I checked um, but yeah they look awesome look at that so that lets me um, move forward with the actual powering it from solar, which is cool. Uh, so that's just a bare solar cell. So ordinarily a solar cell will be bonded to some kind of supporting substrate underneath and then it'll have a glass on top to protect it. Uh, but this one's going to be uh, inside the blinker enclosure. The other thing I got was a pair of glass windows. So these are ostensibly borosilicate glass, uh, 80 mil uh, spec outside diameter, it's actually like 79 and a bit, um, and about 19 to 20, like 18 to 20 mil thick. Um, so I got two of them because these were like 17 bucks each as well, um, free shipping. Um, so my goal for these is um, I want to destructively, I think I'm going to have to, if I have any self respect, I'm going to have to destructively test one of these to compare it. Uh, to my homemade uh, windows and if they turn out to be as strong or better then I think I'll just use these for the windows rather than my homemade ones um, because they're relatively cheap and they are pre-ground to a set diameter it's not the diameter they say they are but I can work with that so um, got two of those and the other thing I got was a new dial indicator, not directly related to this project, um, but still, some nice, nice measury thingies. Um, so I, I asked around, and these are the best cheap option, uh, the, ch the best uh, Chinese-made option. It's like 60 bucks, I think, and it's a 0.1, a 0.01 mil um, dial indicator. So. It, 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 it'll do it'll do quite nicely for centering stuff in the lathe and measuring really small things uh, it comes in this little box no sort of paperwork with it at all no calibration data nothing just a little warranty card that says it will not your warranty does not cover damage by man um, but it does come with these little mounting posts that you clip onto these little dovetails um, but yeah I'm happy with that um, and that's about it. Um, so my initial plan for the solar cells is to um, chop it up, um, hook it up to one of these with maybe just two super caps soldered on, and then pot that into some uh, transparent epoxy resin. And then I'll leave that out in the garden for a couple of years and see how it goes um, while I work on the rest of the project. Okay. Bye-bye.